the google pixel 8 and the google pixel 8 pro leaks are already here now before you tell me hey manji it hasn't been even a month since the pixel 7 and the google pixel 7 pro were released and we already have pixel 8 and pixel 8 pro leaks well that is how product development works it's not like that google and apple start developing their latest pixels and their latest iphones once they release the newest generation no they start developing those well before and the plans are pretty long term because product development is not something which you do in like three or four months it generally takes a lot of time and with the supply chain issues we have been having with the covid situation it all but makes sense that the pixel 8 and the pixel 8 pro are already under development so the code names are husky and shiba so husky is the pixel 8 pro and shiba is the google pixel 8 as for the displays pixel 8 is going to have a 1080p display but surprisingly enough the pixel 8 pro might have a 1344p display now that aspect ratio is a bit strange but that is what the current leaks suggest other than that the good news for people who like the smaller pixel 8 or the smaller pixel 7 is that both of them that is the pixel 8 and the pixel 8 pro might have 12 gb of ram in the current situation the pixel 7 has 8 gb of ram and the pixel 7 pro has 12 gb of ram but with the next release the pixel 8 and the pixel 8 pro both will have 12 gb of ram which is pretty great news other than that both of them are supposedly running tensor g3 yes we are on tensor g2 which is your 5 nanometer exynos based processor but with the tensor g3 this one they say will be based on samsung's 3 nanometer fabrication and it could be based on the exynos 2300 now i know that exynos you know you get a negative image not as good as qualcomm but it is what it is and rumors are also suggesting that samsung's three nanometer fabrication might be as good as tsmc's three nanometer fabrication but only time will tell whether it is as good or not because in the past exynos has not been as good as what we get from qualcomm and tsmc has always been better than samsung's fabrication the next thing we can talk about is the modem now the modem has been a weak point for the google pixel 6 and the google pixel 6 pro as much as i would like to say that the modem on the 6 and the 6 pro was as good as trash but they have definitely made some improvements on the modem aspect when it comes to the pixel 7 and the pixel 7 pro and i think they are using the samsung g5300 modem now initial leaks have suggested that this same modem is being used on the tensor g3 now the tensor g3 is code named zuma but they are using the same modem which you have on the pixel 7 and the pixel 7 pro but always remember this is like pretty early in the leaks situation for the pixel 8 and the pixel 8 pro and you might end up with a newer modem on the pixel 8 and the pixel 8 pro which should be better than what you have on the google pixel 7 because they definitely need to come up to par with the qualcomm modems if they want to compete with the likes of the s23s and the galaxy s23 ultra also of course the pixel 8 and the pixel 8 pro will be running android 14 out of the box and the code name for android 14 is upside down cake yes google is continuing the trend with the desert names so android 14 upside down cake is what it is and that will do it for the current leaks which we have for the pixel 8 and the pixel 8 pro and of course you can let me know in the comments below what areas you would like google to improve on when they release the google pixel 8 and the google pixel 8 pro